Descendants 2 co-stars Dove Cameron and Thomas Doherty are the first couple who comes to mind when we think of relationship goals. We became a little obsessed, so we found some intimate things about the celebrity couple's relationship that you might not know. Watch until the end to find out if Dove and Thomas are going to tie the knot anytime soon. Hit that subscribe button for the latest videos on your favorite Disney movies and shows. And click that like button if you're as obsessed with Dove and Thomas as we are. Now here are 20 things you didn't know about Dove Cameron and Thomas Doherty relationship. They were friends first. Dove and Thomas were close friends all the way back when Dove was still engaged to Liv and Maddie co-star Ryan McCartan. When Dove met Thomas on the set of Descendants 2, she didn't think much of it at first. She said she was focused on her own job on the film. Apparently, she can't even remember when he first started to stand out to her as someone she could fall in love with. They took things super slow and really got to know each other first. Looks like it totally paid off. Their chemistry almost got their D2 scene cut. You guys remember the scene where Harry greets Mal and runs his wicked hook through her purple hair? Well, it almost ended up getting cut because of their steamy chemistry. Even though Harry is supposed to be all team Uma, in real life, Dove and Thomas couldn't keep their eyes off each other. Dove talked about this scene in an interview with J14. She said the scene with the hook almost got cut because the chemistry was so intense that everyone was wondering if the audience was going to think that the story was about Mal and Harry. We want to see that movie. Their first date was at a pancake cafe. In an interview, with Code Magazine. Thomas gushed over Dove, saying she was a wonderful human who is kind, loving, funny, extremely talented, and has the most beautiful eyes. We think we speak for everyone when we say, aww. He talked about their first date, which he says was at a pancake cafe. He said it was one of those things where she sat across from him, drenched because it was raining outside. He said she made terrible jokes that he was obliged to laugh at, and he kind of just fell in love with her. Thomas said that he and Dove are both weird, which is why the relationship works so well. Kenny Ortega's thoughts. Descendants director may have an eye for more than just amazing talent. It looks like he played Cupid on set with Dove and Thomas. Dove explained that Kenny was telling them that they can't make their scene too intense. Their chemistry was so powerful even off camera at rehearsals, but she claims that they were unaware of it. Their co-stars and crew definitely noticed though. Then Kenny came up to Dove and said he thought that she and Thomas would be really good together. He's definitely not wrong. If Kenny ever quits directing, he should go into the matchmaking business. The Mal and Harry backstory. So apparently Kenny Ortega helped d and come up with a backstory for their characters. The story was that Mal and Harry were each other's first loves. She was the baddest girl and he was the baddest guy. Dove said it was sort of like a Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder thing. They were madly in love with each other, but then she broke his heart, which is why Harry hates Mal so much. And while they were together, Mal and Harry got secret matching hook tattoos. Dove and Thomas would draw them under their gloves every day. The staring contest. Dove says she can pinpoint the exact moment she started falling for Thomas. It was during a staring contest they had. She said they were just staring at each other for like 10 minutes and that was the first time they were like, oh my god, I could fall for you. She said they both ended up crying. Their eyes started watering and they were like, whoa. From that moment, she felt like she just wanted to hang out with him. She said she just wanted to be there with him. She doesn't want to do any activity, just be together. So sweet. Taller than Dove. Dove and Thomas post lots of pics of them together. They aren't shy at all about sharing their special moments together with the world. And Dove's not shy about posting the specifics about Thomas's measurements either. In one Instagram post, she wrote that Thomas is six feet tall compared to her five foot two height. That's a pretty big difference. So does he bend down when they kiss or does Dove stand on her tippy toes? She said she doesn't really even notice the height difference because most people are taller than her. But she appreciates that he can carry her around and let her hide in his jacket. A little freaked out. Dove shared that she remembers feeling that sort of absolutely terrifying feeling when you're starting to fall in love with someone. She said she was like, no. Dove felt like she was going downhill with no brakes on. She was super freaked out about it because she said nobody else could break her heart like he could. So that was pretty scary, but she's happy she followed her heart. Dove calls Thomas the most beautiful human being on the face of the planet. Not physically, she was quick 
quick to point that out. But emotionally, she's not shy about calling him the most perfect thing under the sun. They love binge watching a certain TV show. During rehearsals for Descendants 3, the couple finally got a day off together. So what did they do? Thomas posted on Twitter that the couple binge watched season 9 of The Office together. He added that they were ruined with crying and laughing emojis. With all the glamour and the spotlights, it makes sense that the couple would want to spend their day off cuddling in their pajamas watching episodes of The Office. Great show, by the way. They also love going to hockey games and eating pasta together, and then recreating the iconic Lady and the Tramp image. How cute are they? Thomas gave Dove his heart. Literally. If you're as big of a Dove Cameron fan as we are, you've probably seen her wearing her most prized piece of jewelry on the red carpet. It's a heart locket from her dad who passed away when she was only 15 years old. Well, Thomas knew how much heart jewelry meant to her, so he got her a silver heart bracelet to match. Dove posted a picture of the bracelet and tagged Thomas in it. He shows that he had it engraved with the nickname he calls her, Chloe, which is short for her actual first name, Chloe. That may be the sweetest thing we've ever seen. They co-starred together in The Lodge. Last year, Dove co-starred with her bae on the hit Disney UK musical series, The Lodge. Thomas is one of the leading stars of the show, and Dove appeared as a new character named Jess. Disney Channel UK posted on Twitter that Dove was playing a confident and sporty character in an upcoming episode. In the show, Thomas's and Dove's characters were almost biking partners, but she chose a different mate instead. They must have still been battling that on-screen chemistry, because the show used clever editing to make sure the audience audience only saw the last half of their on-screen hug. Thomas has a jacket with Dove's face on it. Just when you thought these two couldn't get any cuter together, they go and do something like this. Apparently, a fan made Thomas a jacket with Dove's face on the back, which is surrounded by roses. He wore it to an event in Los Angeles in March, and then again when the couple went to Coachella together. Dove posted a pic of him wearing it with the caption, It's his favorite jacket. In the picture, he is taking a picture of his beloved, so you can see her face twice. Thomas treats her like a princess. What girl doesn't want a guy who gives her the royal treatment? While they were working together on D3, Dove took to Twitter to post that she just spent the last half hour laying in her boyfriend's lap while they watched TV. She added that he was brushing her hair out, from root to tip, in between kisses. She called her life heaven on earth and said that Thomas Doherty treats her like a princess. Later, she posted a video on Instagram of Thomas giving her a foot rub. She wrote that he just does this and called him lover boy. They tried to keep their relationship secret at first. When their relationship was brand new, the couple tried to keep it a secret, but one of their trusted friends always knew what was going on. Sophia Carson said that from the very beginning, there was definitely chemistry there. She said that for a while, it was a secret that Dove wanted to keep, but it was super obvious that they had feelings for each other. Sophia added that as long as Dove's happy, she's happy. Fans have noticed and posted on Twitter that they are loving how happy she seems now. Of course, a girl doesn't need a guy to be whole and happy, but it doesn't hurt. They love to play dress up. The two whisked themselves away for a romantic trip to Paris and kissed with the Eiffel Tower in the background. Then they went home to play dress up. Thomas posted this hilarious, adorable video of Dove brushing his hair and singing sweetly. He sings with her and it's too adorable for words. When she hugs him, he whispers, watch my hair. They also like kissing in the dark, red lipstick and all. Thomas always compliments Dove. Dev and Thomas are no strangers to posting PDA pictures and details about their love on social media. Dove's happy birthday Insta video for Thomas features the two of them dancing in the wind. She wrote, Happy birthday to the one who holds my heart. She said the fact that he exists is proof enough for her of divinity and goodness. This post gave us all the feels. Thomas isn't intimidated by his award-winning girlfriend. Thomas is the epitome of the supportive boyfriend. He rubs her feet, brushes her hair, and kisses kisses her all the time. But when Dove won a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Performer in a children's, preschool children's, or educational and informational program for her work on the Disney show Live and Maddie, he was right by her side. Now there are guys who might be intimidated by such a talented and successful woman, but Thomas is not one of those guys. In Dove's Instagram video, we see him hugging her after her name is called, and he is all smiles. No, you guys, she's not pregnant. Apparently some fans got a little ahead of themselves. 
Dove Cameron shared a sweet picture of the couple on the red carpet at the Emmys. Some gossip must have been brewing because Dove felt the need to caption her picture, saying, No, you guys, I am not pregnant. She wrote that Thomas was just holding her body close in an intimate way. She added that she would not be so chill about it when she announces she is pregnant in about 10 years or more. Still, it's fun to imagine what their baby would look like. Will the baby have Dove's eyes and Thomas's chiseled jawline? What do you guys think? Their real matching tattoos. In an interview with J14, Dove talks about their real matching tattoos. Dove said that the reason she wanted the tattoo originally was because of her favorite musical, The Light in the Piazza. There's a lyric that she loves that says, I know what the sunlight can be. For Dove, that means knowing the pain and pleasures of the world. She believes the sunlight represents life and everything that life encompasses. She said for Thomas, the tattoo represents coming out of dark times and being positive. But she admits that they really got it because they wanted to match. Are they engaged? You know what Beyonce said, if you like it, put a ring on it. Well, it just so happens that Dove confessed her desire to marry Thomas, and it was at the Beyonce performance at Coachella. She posted a video of him dancing to Beyonce's Who Run the World, and she quoted him as saying, bow down and dance to the women mate. One fan posted a comment on the vid saying, honestly marry him. Dove responded, I'm gonna. There is no official news of an engagement yet, but it sure seems like it's in their inevitable future. And that was 20 things you didn't know about Dove Cameron and Thomas Doherty's relationship. Thanks for watching The Things. Bye!